Welcome back to Jetline Marvel for another thrilling aviation episode. The first aerial refueling test of South Korea's indigenous KF-21 Boromi fighter jet was successfully completed, marking a key milestone in the country's defense capabilities. Refueling from a Republic of Korea Air Force. KC-330 aircraft, the Southern Coast Boromi fighter jet, took off from Sacheon Air Base, some 183 miles southeast of Seoul. The Defense Acquisition Program administration hailed this development, which represents a significant advancement for this state-of-the-art aircraft. The successful aerial refueling test corresponds with a stage production plan intended to ease worries brought forward by the feasibility assessment carried out a year ago. The research recommended cutting production to just 20 units and made additional test suggestions. A defense acquisition program administration official continues to state that after discussions with pertinent agencies, plans are in place to conclude verification testing by June of this year and complete a contract for the remaining 20 units by February of the following year. The KF-21, which has been compared to the Turkish Khan and the Indian Amka, has a more stealthy airframe than fourth-generation aircraft. But it is not yet capable of fifth-generation fighter capabilities. However, in the future, modifications such as internal weapons bays might force South Korea to reclassify it as a fifth-generation fighter. Even while South Korea has made significant strides towards constructing the KF-21, other countries, including Turkey and India, are also stepping up their efforts to push plans for creating fifth-generation fighter jets. As an initial phase, Korean Aerospace Industries intends to manufacture a two-seat variant of the KF-21, equipped with manned-unmanned teaming capabilities. According to current plans, the Block 2 KF-21 fighter is slated for an upgrade to a low observability configuration, elevating it to the status of a fifth-generation fighter. Additionally, Korean Aerospace Industries has put forward a proposal for the development of a Block 3 KF-21 Boromi fighter jet, categorized as a sixth-generation fighter. This iteration would be larger, boasting enhanced stealth features and capabilities. It would incorporate more potent engines and operate within a comprehensive system of systems framework, integrating with unmanned effectors for increased effectiveness. With the KF-21's production set to start later in the year, Defense Acquisition Program Administration intends to finalize an agreement with Korean Aerospace Industry by the beginning of 2024. The Republic of Korea Air Force is expected to receive 120 KF-21 fighters by 2032. The whole production plan for 40 KF-21s has been approved by the Defense Project Promotion Committee with an estimated cost of 7.92 trillion won, US $5.9 billion, between now and 2028. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about South Korean KF-21 fighter in the comments section.